Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at some of the brand new Druid Barbershop changes which are coming to the game in the Shadowlands pre-patch. But before we get into all of that, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to check me out streaming these Shadowlands Alpha every single day, I'm over on twitch.tv slash mrgm. Right, so this is an awesome change for Druids. Now I'm using a Worgen right now because they are the only race currently that this is active on. Uh, once it's out, obviously it will work on all races. Night Elves also do have the options in the game files, but unfortunately Night Elves are disabled. But yeah, so for this we're going to show a Worgen. Now this change was announced last week in a blue post, giving us a little bit of a forewarning for this, as there was some data mined uh, information that we weren't too sure on. So essentially what they said was, Druids can now travel to their local barbershop and choose their cat and bear form appearances, separate from the character hair or fur colour. This addition to the barbershop services will also include the option to select cat and bear form artifact appearances, so all druid specs can have the choice to shapeshift into their unlocked artifact appearances, and allow guardian and feral druids to have more choice with weapon transmogs when choosing their artifact forms. And it also says that you will be able to change your aquatic, flight, and travel forms as well, uh, and the glyphs to get the new forms will now just be a one-time use which unlocks that form. So yeah, we've just had a build and this is finally implemented, so let's take a look at the interface for this. Now this is the brand new uh, barbershop as well, if you do want to see a bit more about that, I do have a video about it. Uh, just a little tidbit, uh, wargans and human forms are now separate, so you can actually change this uh, completely uh, separate to your wargan form, which is really cool, and we'll have a video on that at some point. But, the main event, this is what we're looking at. So yeah, this is the customization for changing your bear, cat, travel, all of those forms. Uh, as of right now, the artifact forms aren't enabled uh, to be changed, but of course, once it's all in, uh, it will be all there. But as you can see, pretty simple, pretty simple. So you go to the bear form, you have a few options, you could just kind of flick through, you do okay, and there it is. You get to change your bear form into that one right there, which is just amazing. Now, you still can't click the thing in bear form, which is kind of a shame, but, you know, just jump out of bear form, jump back in, and do that, which is awesome because, you know, so much more freedom in having uh, weapon transmogs for different artifact appearances, and, yeah, just an amazing customization. Honestly, should have been in the game a long time ago, but it's coming in the Shadowlands pre-patch, and I'm pretty happy about that. So this is cat form. Uh, five options as default for cat form. You've got gray, you've got black, you've got brown, and you've got white. Uh, obviously, none of these are new, and tan, of course. Can't forget about tan. Looks pretty cool. Now, this is a work in progress because I did go to Ouroboros and there was some clipping issues with the positioning uh, of the barbershop. So this is a work in progress, but as of right now, this is the interface we have. For travel form, we have obviously the three options. We have stag, we have cheetah, and of course we have the doe form, which yeah, it's kind of weird, but yeah, you've got the cheetah and you've got the stag as well, which is awesome. You can see the camera does move around as well and you can just kind of reset to your original one if you wanted with that button there. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, flight form, you've got Crow, uh, Sentinel, and Humble Flyer, of course, the old school uh, flight form there. And as I said, uh, Night Elves and Cult Herons and Trolls and all of that will have their own options as well. These are obviously just the options for the Worgen. You won't be able to use like troll forms on a Worgen. It's not going to be like that, but you will be able to use all of those amazing artifact appearances uh, separate from uh, the artifact weapons, which is, I think is just a huge change for Druids. Now into aquatic form. Now this is obviously a little bit weird. I don't really know how they could maneuver this to make it look normal. Uh, honestly, yeah. So you've got obviously the options for this. Uh, you've got the sea lion, the orca, the dolphin form, and of course the tide skipper. Yeah, just kind of, just kind of floats there, just kind of floats there in the air, but, uh, you know, what else could they do? They couldn't put, like, a giant fishbowl there or something, I don't know, like, let me know in the comments, let me know if you could think of a better idea to do the travel form, uh, the aquatic form, sorry, but, I mean, it works, it's still a, you know, you can do it, but it's, it's kind of interesting, but honestly, I love this, I love this a lot, and as I said, this is something that druids have wanted for such a long time, and having that, you know, ability to not be forced into a certain weapon for a certain appearance is just fantastic. And as I said, this is the first build, so this is the early look at it, but it will obviously evolve and get better over time. And yeah, I just think it's a great thing. It also opens up the developers to be able to kind of uh, bring in more druid forms, uh, more like, you know, without having to tie it to a weapon or anything like that. You can literally just make items which unlock forms and things, you know, with like the Night Fae and Arden World and all those new creatures that are coming in Shadowlands. Druids could be having a really good time going into uh, going 
going into the next couple uh, couple expansions and, and patches and whatnot. So guys, that's pretty much it. That is the brand new interface for changing your druid form in the barbershop. So let me know down below what you think of this. If you're a druid main, how happy are you with this change? I'm not even a druid main and I'm pretty darn happy that this is finally coming to the game. As I said, a long time coming, but it's great to finally see it coming in the Shadowlands pre-patch. So before I go guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video guys if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Of course, got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. We're going to be diving straight into this brand new patch tomorrow on stream. So if you want to check that out, twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that guys, I'll see you next time.